Hi students, uh, let's continue with the CSS uh, properties and coming to the next uh, property that is a Z index property. A Z index property specifies the stack order of an element. So this property is going to be applied on the bunch of stacks. Let's take some stack of elements are there. So uh, this Z index property is going to specify the stack order. So in which order the element has to be placed in the first place or second place or third place whatever the element you have selected that element will be placed in which order specifies the stack order of an element an element with the greater stack order is always in front of an element with the lower stack order so the element which is uh, having the greater stack order is always placed in front of the element in the let's take this is a greater and this is the lower so the greater should be placed above the lower that is a stack property z index only works on position elements so you have to be think that if you want to apply the z index property that should be work only on the position element that is a position absolute position relative or the position fixed or static the syntax for the z index is z index either it can take auto auto means the set of stack orders equals to its parent its default so whatever you want to be print that will be printed according to that style auto so first parent uh, means uh, larger one is above and the smaller below and smaller below like that auto next is number set the stack order of element uh, so whatever the order you are give, giving so in that order the elements are be placed it can also takes the negative numbers also negative numbers are also allocated to that next is initial initial sets the property of its default value and inherit inherits this property from its parent element so these are all the values so for z index property you can ta uh, take a uh, based on your requirement whether you can take auto number initial inherit values if you want to set the z index for an image what you will do so a simple example is uh, whatever the image you are going to be take that image if you want to print at the corner so it's take the position as a absolute absolute means it has to be calculated from parent so this is a parent container from here it has to be calculated so left it is taking only the zero pixels zero pixels means start here only whatever the image that you want to be print start here and the top is also zero pixels so start here only okay whatever the image you want to be print that you have to print here and the z index is minus one so starting this is it's taking it is from minus one it is starting the uh, image now let's see uh, some of the properties for the z index means the values i said the z index values can be either you can take the auto initial or the numbers or the inherit if suppose if you take z index as auto i'm taking three stacks so here the box is the uh, parent okay so completely this is a parent and this box is having the highlighted one that that should be placed above that so whenever you mention auto so this is boxes starts with the first position zero pixels and the second box will be print the stack is print in this position z index zero and this is the z index one so this is i'm just printing a uh, three boxes on the screen it's an image let's take z index one if you mention z index one means what it has to be it has to be uh, override with the z index 0 so that z index will go back and this box will become above the z index 0 so here it comes above the z index 0 okay now if z index is equal to 2 2 means the box has to be placed above the 2 so now the box is placed at the top so in the below the box there is z index 1 and below the z index 1 there is z index 0 okay so it's just uh, this property is going to be placed the values or the images and whatever it may be the different elements that can be arranged 
according to your uh, requirements it's the top of the stack or then the below or below like that so it it follows the property of the stack thank you